What's up tech fans? We all know that getting a video card right now is probably the absolute hardest it's ever been in the entire time that I've seen in the PC industry. Getting a new video card right now is just so expensive most of the time. I mean, you're really lucky if you ever even see one at the regular pricing. There are a lot of reasons behind this. Now, a few of these reasons are very obvious and people know them, but there are also a few more things going on in the background that are keeping you from getting your hands on a brand new video card. So let's talk tech. Are you building a new computer or just upgrading an old one? If so, then chances are you need a new Windows 10 key. And CD key sales, they've got you covered. Buying has never been easier. And prices for Windows keys are under $20 and there's even additional discounts. All you need to do is go search for the software that you're looking for, add that software to your cart, create an account, and when you go to checkout, Enter the code TT18 to get an additional 20% off. Now, let's frag some. All codes are guaranteed and you'll be up and gaming in no time. Okay, so everybody knows that the miners, the scalpers, those are two big problems that everybody's keenly aware of. Another problem is is that all of the people who make computers, all of these houses out there, Dell, everybody who makes computers, they purchased a lot of the cards up front so that a lot of these cards just never actually made it onto the market whatsoever. Now, mining, we've seen it come and go, but pretty much since the days that mining has been going on, we're seeing video cards just be bought up by, you know, by the boxes by these people that are doing mining. And that's had, you know, another bad effect on the entire industry of being able to get cards to the public because these people are buying them up. Scalpers, we all know what these people are. They get the cards. MSI has been caught with their pants down. Other companies have been caught with their pants down doing these type of things where they're selling their cards and trying to get more money from them. It's really shameful. I mean, I don't think it's really quite illegal, but it's really a shameful thing that that is happening. But other problems that are in the background are really a lot more issue than people realize. For one thing, we all know we're right in still in the middle of a pandemic. Some countries might be doing a little better, but there are second, third waves of the virus. And this has kept manufacturers from being able to create the amount of parts that are needed to fill the market. That's just the way that it is. I wanna tell you guys this right now. Um, at Christmas time and around that area, we all know that all the cards that came in stock from Nvidia, from AMD, they all just went completely out the window. And I kind of thought, well, okay, these companies are probably happy because they sold all their stock. But I come to find out that these companies weren't happy at all because basically they couldn't even get enough parts out so that they could make a better profit. So they basically had, you know, an opportunity to make a lot of money because we all know it. It's like a sponge with no water and it's been sitting in the sun. As soon as, as, soon as something comes, it's going to just suck that stuff up really fast. Well, that's how the video card market has been. And trust me, all these companies, Nvidia, everybody else, they really do wish they had a lot more cards. You know, I thought they probably would have been satisfied, you know, because they made such huge sales, but no. I was actually wrong. They really wished that they would have had more stock to get to the public because not only did it turn out to be embarrassing for a lot of companies, we've seen all the videos, you know, these were the most failed launches in history. And, and in a lot of ways, they were because all these new cards that people wanted, nobody could get their hands on them really. I mean, sure, there are the select few that sat there and refreshed their computer screen and sat there online and just really just banged at it until they were actually able to get a card, you know, at th that price. But beyond that, 
it's been just a nightmare for anybody to get their hands on a card unless you want to be paying like crazy money. Um, the brand new AMD card, card, you know, there's a retail card is like $700. <laughs> card selling for like $15 to $1,600 on eBay and places like that. And that's just completely, completely wrong. Now, another thing that people really don't realize and this is something that I think is probably one of the biggest things that's actually causing you to not be able to get your hands on new video cards is this. Right now, any type of thing that has a printed circuit board coming into the United States suffers a 25% tariff. 25% tariff. So that means that, you know, if NVIDIA is bringing a card in here and that card is supposed to be, you know, said value, well, guess what? You're paying another 25% on top of that just to bring this into the United States. Now, these are all the actions of the, the, the former president, Donald Trump. Now, a lot of people are hoping that Joe Biden will release these tariffs so that people can bring the cards in. But this is a really, really big issue because let's just face it, you're NVIDIA and you're wanting to bring in, let's just, I'm just gonna randomly throw a number out there. Let's just say $10 million in cards. Well, now you're paying 25% on top of that 10 million. So just imagine how staggering a hit that is. And really how is AMD or NVIDIA going to bring you a card to market at MSRP when they can't even now get restock on their items for anywhere near the same price. So even the, the prices that you're seeing that have been put out by these companies, and I mean, they're being hopeful that, yeah, they can get these cards at these lower prices. They're not going to be able to. How are they going to be able to pay this 25% tariff on top of everything they're doing and get you your video card at the same price that it was advertised at? It's just typically and really numbers wise, impossible unless they really just want to lose that much money and i'm sure these companies you know like i said before they're corporations they report to a board of directors who are like where is our damn profit well if they bring all these cards into the market and have to pay a 25 percent tariff on everything they're bringing in that's a complete loss for any company whatsoever and me personally I think beyond all of the other things that are going on in the market, where you got scalpers, you've got miners, you've got all these other BS things going on in the market. If there's a complete shortage of parts, which means you can't really get the parts, all of the fabrication places right now are just kind of like going, uh, because they can't get that there. And then you've got a 25% tariff on top of that for any printed circuit board thing coming to the USA kind of makes it very difficult for everybody. Not only are me, I guess me and you, <laughs> kind of got that back, I was like me and you, but no, you know, me and you, you guys out there, we're the ones who at the end though are actually paying the price as well because none of us can get our hands on a new video card. Now, the corporations, I'm sure they're very angry about this. I didn't even mention Intel, but I'm sure Intel's being hit by this as well. All of these companies right now are in a really wacky position because in the old days they released their video cards you went out you bought your video card there was no scalping there was no mining there was no tariffs there was none of these things going on that are happening right now so beyond just the obvious face value stuff of like oh my god that damn scalper or oh my god this guy's doing this for mining those things yeah they're right in your face and everybody knows those things but the tariffs and the really, really bad part shortage that's going on right now is something that not everybody is really keenly aware of. There are articles now coming out a lot more about this, but those particular things I feel are a real Achilles heel to anybody out there who's trying to bring video cards in or buy them. Because let's just face it, if they're gonna have to pay more money for their video cards to get them here, they're going to have to charge you more money. And that just rolls the thing, shit rolls downhill. So, you know, even the miners, the scalpers, even those guys, they're gonna be raising the prices and doing stuff right along with all the other price hikes. So right now, really, it's probably one of the worst times ever to buy a video card in history. 
I can honestly never think of any time in the past where it was so hard to get any card. We had the time where it was hard to get AMD cards because of the miners, but hey, you can get NVIDIA cards. Well, now NVIDIA and AMD are being hit by those people, and probably when Intel releases their video cards, they will suffer the same exact consequences because that's just what's going on. Um, what do you guys think? Do you guys think that a company should just like eat all that money and try to get the video cards to you at the same price? Um, do you think there should be higher lockdowns on scalpers and on miners? Or do you think that, well, they're just people buying video cards and just because they've got the cash to buy more, you know, we just have to take the slap in the face and deal with it. What are your guys' thoughts and opinions? I always want to hear them. You're my audience. And honestly, your participation is just as, much as, as important as me showing you my head here on YouTube. So I'm Elric. You guys have been watching Tech of Tomorrow. Those are the reasons right now that you really can't get your hands on a video card. And in the foreseeable future, I'm not really you know, seeing much change on the horizon. Unless the tariff is dropped, unless people are getting back to work and getting the parts made to get to these companies, I don't really see any light at the end of the tunnel unless it's a freight train coming to run us over. You guys have been watching Tech of Tomorrow. Hey, if you like what you see, I'd love to have you guys sub to my channel, but make sure that you turn on that notification bell or you will never know that I'm making videos. All of those Windows keys that you saw in the beginning of the video are all guaranteed. No one has ever had a complaint or a problem in years. And if you'd like to support the site without paying a penny, I have a link down there to Amazon Prime. There's a lot of cool movies and stuff on there, free shipping. Try it for 30 days for free. It helps keeps the channel around and it doesn't cost you a penny. And if you do have an extra dollar and you'd like to support the channel, we have a Patreon site as well and a link down below. So peace out. We'll see you guys back from the channel for more tech.